Hi, I'm Margie Remers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the fast and easy way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor certification. Today, we're going to be walking through one of the exercises from our basic level course, Section 3, Lesson 8, which is all about estimates and purchase orders. And this is one of a whole series of exercises that, um, that are necessary in this lesson. You, Before doing this exercise, you need to have already created an estimate. So I'll make sure and click uh, have a, a link up there where you can get back to the other exercise if you haven't done it yet, because you have to have done it for this exercise. Um, and this is just a topic that you really have to know inside and out uh, for the test. So make sure you pay attention, make sure you do uh, these exercises. This one is going to be converting that estimate that we just created into a purchase order. And as you can see there in red, <laughs> you have to complete the previous exercise. So make sure that you um, make sure that you do that. All right, if you would like a copy of this exercise, or if you'd like to find out more about our courses, um, just click the link below everything, all the information is down there. So let's take a look at our scenario. All right, so continuing on from our previous story, great news. Gavel Burst Photography liked the price and wants to move forward with installing the background. Create a purchase order to authorize the purchase of one pump from Norton Lumber and Building Materials. You already have some rock fountains in stock. Okay, so a purchase order is a non-posting transaction. Basically, it's just an agreement between you and Norton that says you're going to buy this thing and, and you want to order this thing and you have authorization to do it. So we're going to head over to the sample company. And then once uh, we're in there, if, if this were a normal scenario, we would have to turn on purchase orders. In the sample company, it's already turned on. Um, so let's, but I, let me want to show you real quick, like where that is, if you ever needed to do that. So you would go to the gear icon and account and settings. And then you're going to go to, um, expenses and right here where it says purchase orders, use purchase orders. You want to make sure that that is turned on. Okay. Like I said, in the sample company, it's already turned on. So you don't have to worry about it. So what we need to do next is we need to find the estimate you just created. So again, we created that estimate in the last exercise. So make sure you've done that. Um, and the way that we do that is we're going to, from the left navigation bar, select um, sales and then um, customers. So once I'm in here on this, what they call this a money bar. So on this bar right here, you'll notice it says that there is one estimate. So I'm going to click that. Let me show you that was the step. Click blue estimates button. All right. And then right here, now it's going to show us a list of all of our estimates. It all, we only happen to have one, but um, the it would show us all of the estimates that we would have. Okay. So now we're going to, right here, it says one open estimate. We're going to click that. And you would think that that would open the estimate, but no. What it's doing is it's showing the, all of the estimates for Gevelbor Photography. So there's one more step we have to do, which is to actually click on the estimate. So I'm going to click on the estimate. And then, uh, this, so this is the estimate we just created. And then right here, this little arrow next to Create Invoice, we're going to click this drop down, and we're going to say, Copy to purchase order. Let me just put the step up so you can see it. There we go. And we're going to click right here and then copy to purchase order. Okay. Now, not everything is going to transfer from the estimate to the purchase order because the design, for example, is that's done in house. We don't buy that from, uh, from Tim. So, or Norton, wherever we're going. <laughs> so the only things that are going to transfer are the products, not the services. And that's why it's giving you this little message saying that. So uh, we're just going to click OK. 
And then the next thing we're going to do is complete our purchase order. So the purchase order is for Norton. Norton Lumber. Okay. Then uh, remember, we already have a rock fountain in stock. So we're going to remove the rock fountain. I'll just scroll here so you can see. So here's the rock fountain, but we already have a rock fountain. We don't need it. So we're going to take that off by clicking the trash can here. And then for the remaining thing, for the pump, we are going to say that is for Gevelber. Okay. And then the last thing we need to do is click save and close. All right, so that's it for this exercise. Um, we have sent out an invoice in the previous one. They said yes, so now we're gonna start purchasing the items and uh, the story is gonna continue in the next lesson. So if you found this exercise helpful, make sure you give us a thumbs up. If you would like to be notified uh, every time we post another exercise video like this or other helpful tips about getting your Pro Advisor certification, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell. And of course, if you have any questions about this particular exercise, about any of our courses, or if you have suggestions on um, other uh, topics that you would like hands-on practice on, then make sure you let us know in the comments below. All right, that's it for me. I can't wait to hear your success story.